Hello, I'm Dr. Andy Nealon here. I'm a pediatric pulmonologist and have cared for children with artificial airways or tracheostomies for over 30 years. Review of the medical literature suggests that the morbidity rate for infants and children with tracheostomies is between 53 and 61 percent. Mortality is estimated to range from 1.6 to 6 percent. During my professional career, I've had two phone calls in the middle of the night from frantic mothers of infants with tracheostomies. In each instance, the message was, I turned off the monitor and the baby is dead. These were real babies, not statistics. I subscribed to the PED Lung Listserv with participants from all over the world. It seems like every six months, a member will ask the question, how do others monitor children with tracheostomies? The universal answer is, not well and there must be a better way. For caregivers of vulnerable infants, children, and adults with tracheostomies, who must recognize and mitigate partial or complete obstruction of these artificial airways, the acoustic tracheal airflow sensor is a simple, safe, and secure method for determining proper position and patency of critical artificial airways. It is not as vulnerable to heat, humidity, mucus, blood, motion, or other common conditions that interfere with reliable monitoring. Unlike monitors that use impedance, thermistors, end tidal CO2, pulse oximetry, or flow sensors, our acoustic tracheal airflow sensor has been designed to attach to the tracheostomy tube and directly measure and quantify tracheal airflow. Here, there are a number of different methods for trying to monitor airflow in tracheostomy tubes. Some are direct but have problems associated with mucus, humidity, temperature, whereas others are indirect and are fraught with artifact. The principle behind our acoustic tracheal airflow sensor is ultrasound and time of flight. An acoustic wave is introduced in to the airflow at an oblique angle. A receiver is positioned to sense the induced signal, and the interaction of the flow in the tube with the induced acoustic signal shifts the arrival time of the signal proportional to the velocity of air in the tube. The shift in arrival time has been shown to be a function of the airflow velocity and the acoustic velocity in the tube. This is just a depiction of the setup that we've used for benchtop testing in the neonatal intensive care unit utilizing a standard infant and pediatric ventilator. As you can see here, we uh, have the, the ventilator, we have the sensor, we have a test lung, and we have our acoustic sensor display. This just depicts in a little better detail that the flows displayed from the ventilator are very similar to those that are displayed on our acoustic flow sensor graphic. So this is the, uh, the system uh, completely assembled with our uh, flow sensor, tracheostomy tube, model trachea, and model lung. As you can see on the graphical display, we are readily detecting inspiration and expiration uh, with each breath. 